want to give you a lot of good information. This is a, it's a big <laughs> house. I mean, that's just the way it is. I can't say it any other way. So here's a little satire for you. There are like four kinds of people in this world. There are the hipsters who want to be in the city and they want to walk to their coffee shop and they want to walk to the library and whatever hipsters do. Then there are people who live in subdivisions. Why you want to live in a subdivision? Totally up to you. I'm good. Then all the way at the other end, you get the weirdos like me who want to live out in the country. So you have cows and you have farm smells and things, things that cows do, but we like that and that's our lifestyle. And then you have something like this. You, maybe this house is perfect for a professional, multi-generational. You certainly have plenty of room upstairs for kids it, with huge bedrooms with their own baths. Remember, five beds, six baths. You got a magnificent master suite. So you can live everything on the first floor. Then you can have grandma downstairs or grandma up here with you. Put grandma in the big presidential suite. You go downstairs. I don't care what you do. But when you need to be at the regional medical center in five minutes or less, this is it. When you need to be at the college in five minutes or less, this is it. You want to have a uh, delivery of everything. This is it. But you're out in the country, 10 acres, and everyone else around you has 10 acres or more. So it's just fantastic. Totally out in the country, but you're close to everything. And you have this magnificent house. It is big. And I'm going to show it all to you. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to go downstairs. We're going to go sideways. For right now, I just wanted to kind of lay the groundwork to tell you what's going on. This is going to be in the eights. I don't think you can beat it. Right now, I hear the agent say $175, $200 a square foot. You know, now it might be $150 if it's on real small land or whatever, but about $175 a square foot. So if this place is 7,000, it's actually more than 7,000. I'll put it right here. It's more than 7,000 square feet. So if it's 150, it would be, what's that? Seven times 150, uh, million 50. So, and it's not even anywhere near that. And it's already done for you. The house is spotless. It, it smells good. It's a deal. And who don't like a deal, especially today. And you don't have to put up with the bull builders and all their bullshit. <laughs> good Lord. Can you imagine building this today? Anyway, it's all done for you. Come on in. Well, let's go have some fun. Please give a like for the almighty YouTube algorithm. I would appreciate it so much. And also, if you're going to do business with anybody, do business with us. Someone you know already, you know, you like, you trust. I've got pictures of our place on here. We know each other. But please do an appointment. Make an appointment because we get three, four, five people a week who just pop in. Hi, I'm from California. We're here to look at property. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We got nothing set up. All the sellers usually want 24-hour notice, which is just being polite. And then the agents, bless their heart, they're working hard as they can, and they're booked out. So please make an appointment. Please come see us. Yes, you'll get to meet me. Yes, I'll come shake your hand. You can get a picture and all that stuff. Uh, we'll do all that stuff. I love all that. I really, because I love you guys. I really do. Okay? Love y'all. Hold tight. Hit that like button. Because I said so. The last big Powerball, $1.3 billion or whatever, there were two tickets sold in Kentucky that have never been claimed. We are at Center College, and these girls keep stepping out into the road. Are they passing? Are they crossing? I don't want to hit anybody. It would be a very bad day for me. <laughs> Not to mention them, right? Anyway, this is Center College. It's the Harvard of Kentucky, if you can imagine. But it's true. And it's uh, we're very grateful to have them here. It's about 1,500 students. No PhD program. That's the that's what differentiates a college and a university. I don't know if you knew that or not. I am not an expert on colleges or universities. Hell, I can't even spell it. There's Old Center. It's real pretty. We are going out to this place. This is the 56710 house. So you talk about, I don't even know about universities. Yeah, I can't even count, right? 56710, what, what is he talking about? Five bedrooms, six baths, over 7,000 square feet. 10 acres, 
magnificent. Boyle County Schools, wonderful, wonderful schools, and it's close to everything. I'm gonna show you how close it is. Stick to the end, and would you please, while you're here, for the almighty YouTube algorithm, would you please just like and comment? You can comment later if you want, but just hit the like button. I would so appreciate it. The more activity a video gets, the more they play it, the more they play it, the more activity it gets. You know how this whole thing works. So this is an assisted care facility. It's a memory care facility. Cindy and I are actually uh, investors in another facility nearby, but this one is absolutely wonderful. Her dad was there and I can't say enough good about Morning Point. Of course, it's the staff, right? But it's also the management who trains the staff and all that other stuff. But it was just, they're just wonderful. It's a nice facility uh, and they just treated him so well. And the one that we're involved in, Cindy and I, uh, same thing. They really bend over backwards to take care of the residents and make them feel like family. This is the high school. The middle school is behind it. It's a brand new $40 million deal. And um, they're building another one. And uh, you know how it goes. One school system gets a $50 million high school. Then the next school system wants another one, right? Wants one too. I should, yeah, easy for you to say. So what do we have here? We've got, oh, I don't know. We shop here all the time. Oh, there's a Dollar General there, big lots, McDonald's. Over here, there's a theater, like an eightplex theater. It's a big church and a vendor village, which is like a indoor flea market kind of thing. Make it right here. You go to Harrodsburg and then you go to uh, Frankfurt, the state capital. You uh, make a left here and you'll go out to I-75. Now it's about 20 or 30 minutes or whatever, but you know. And then you go straight ahead and you go to Perryville, our beloved little town. This place, this property, is really awesome. Now, I can't remember how much it is. I think it's going to be like in the sevens or eights. So, everything's nice and clean. People are real gentle. They don't blow the horn as soon as the light turns green. It's kind of a nice thing. We got a lot of hotels, we got a lot of tourism because of Center College. But this house is right up here on the right. It's not very far. In fact, you can see it from this road. But you're on 10 acres. So what's the big deal with 10 acres? Well, you get an agricultural exemption certificate. Easy for you to say. My gum got in front of my eye teeth. Couldn't see what I was saying. And agricultural exemption certificate. And then you, uh, you don't pay tax on the full boat. So let's say this place is in the sevens and they value the land of the house at five. So you're really not paying taxes on 700,000. You're paying taxes on like 500,000. Does that make sense? So something like that. Just, just make the tax man happy. Don't worry about it. And they won't aggravate you. But if you tick them off, then you might be paying more. I stay away. I say, hi, Mr. Tax man. How are you? Bark, bark little punchy doodle it is uh, about oh three o'clock and this is the third one I've done today and buddy I'm about ready for something of the adult beverage nature for the next little bit you're getting Diet Coke so that I can talk real fast so I can get it all done and you won't fall asleep that's my main goal all right, on some old surveys, this was this was Lock Lane. And now here we are 50 years later or 100 years later and it's Lachlan Lane. So, I'm fine with whatever you want to call it. I will tell you this. It is one of the premier addresses. So, you're not going to go wrong buying anything out here. I can assure you. These are all schwanky endas. Like a hacienda, but schwanky. Schwankier than a hacienda. I think this is the house. Let me see. Yes, this is the house. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. I'll try to put in aerial of, of this place so that you can see where you are. It is a lot of house, a ton. 
Well over 7,000 square feet. All right, let's go check it out. This is great. You're close to everything. Zoom right on the highway, right on up. Let's take a look here inside. Oh, all the lights are on and the door is open. So, hello, don't shoot. Real estate. There you go. So me and you, we're either going to have the sheriff's department call or we're going to get shot. I hope they don't shoot. Too young to die. Too old to take an ass whooping. What do we got here? Wow. You don't see books very often in people's homes. I'm really glad to see this. Amazing. You really don't. Now, I understand with the internet and all, but... All right, let's take a look around. Ken says it's got a huge basement. Coat closet, nice. This is the basement, I guarantee it. Oh yeah, look at that. they got all the lights on for me and everything. I love these people. So you and I are exploring this together. Both together. What do we got? Little powder room. Is it a powder room if it's just two units like that? The toilet and the sink? We call it a half bath. Wow. That's a big kitchen. That's a lot of kitchen. That's a big piece of rock there. Ooh, a gen air. You don't see those too much anymore. Just Google downdraft cooktop and you're good. You're good to go. A true multi-generational house, Ken told me. Um, so, ooh, a little bar area here. And what do they call those? Like Easter eggs? I just found something that's really kind of cool. So the dining room's there and this little butler's pantry, whatever you want to call that. Is there a place for you to mix your cocktails or something? There is a full pantry. Isn't this great? Beautiful. Lots and lots and lots of room for all that stuff that, you know, if you're like we are, you're shoving it under there or something, then you can't find it and you can't reach it and you can't bend over. And there you go, right on out to the garage. So you can come in all dirty from doing your lawnmower or whatever. Of course, if you've got all this land, you're going to have it done. Or you're going to figure something out with a fo local farmer. In fact, we know the local farmer. He's literally right up the road on the other side of the street. And he'll run some cattle on here for you. That way you don't have to mow the whole thing. All right. Let me tell you what I wanted to tell you. Look at this. Nice sunroom. Sweet. That is a Halloween cactus. <laughs> we always used to have Christmas cactuses. I don't know what happened. They're out of favor now or something. But sometimes they bloom early, so we call them a Thanksgiving cactus. Well, this is really early because we're not even in Thanksgiving and she's blooming. Boy, ain't that the truth. This is really nice. Everything is one floor living. And they got a ramp coming right from the garage. So if you got granny or whatever... And it's got a walkout basement, so you can drive around back and get right in as well. This is quite fancy. Just beautiful. How's that for B-roll, huh? That nice, gentle sweep. Come on now. Ready? Here we go. B-roll. <laughs> beautiful. Got a pocket door here, it's off track, no worries. We've got a great builder, you can come out, fix that for you for little to nothing. The throne with elongated bowl and comfort height. I like that, ports. What do we got in here? Nice. Wow, you can put all your stuff in there. You know, my wife's got like five blow dryers. What's the deal with that? Come on now. Do you really need five blow dryers? Okay, it's got one of these deals. Love these. But it looks like it's not doing its thing. See, this one is, this one doing the same thing? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you do it. I do know that every time, oh, here we go. Drop this down. 
and then we can do that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it works. Not perfect, but it's a little squeaky. So am I. There we go. Yeah, how, how nice is that? Now, these are not between the glass. These just pop off. This unit pops off here, and you got full access to replace that in case something were to happen. I think they last a good long while. Man, that yard is just screaming for a pool, in my opinion, which means nothing. We're going to go out there. I'm going to show you everything. Something I didn't pick up on earlier, the master bedroom. It's got these French doors going out onto the deck. Well, look at this. You can come out here and sit out here and read a book or have a cocktail or whatever before you go to bed. It's fantastic. Now, when you get that pool in there, you gotta get Ken hook you up with a good pool guy. Our buddy just put in a big pool, heated and cooled. Maybe he'll come and do that here. At least get a bid. The reason I'm pushing so hard on the pool is because I want to be invited over. I'll bring the barbecue and the homemade beer. Beautiful tray ceiling, we call that tray ceiling. Tray bien. <laughs> okay. Now I remember seeing this staircase. It is a memorable staircase. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Wow, this is, this is like a serious bedroom here. Serious gaming chair and all those windows, it's awesome. I've been excited to get this property uh, for you guys because it's just a great, it's a great location, it's a great property. I mean, who wouldn't want to live here? And it's literally, what, three minutes to town? Bedroom one. Well, bedroom one upstairs. You got this round wall here. That's pretty cool. And it's got its own bathroom as well. Full bath. Nice. Washer dryer up here too. Washer dryer down, washer dryer up. Wow. All right, so what do you do with this? This To me, this is screaming uh, bedroom with a nursery or something like that, right? Maybe bed goes here certainly can swallow up a king here or here uh, or behind me and then what do you do with this absolutely you could do a nursery here no problem okay what is this <laughs> it is pretty big yeah that's nice okay and wait there's more Ooh, and it's got a pull down attic yes very nice. So you can go up there and put your Christmas tree or whatever you celebrate. God, that is just amazing. That really feels good. That big bow, bay, I don't know, whatever. It's built in to the whole deal here. Somebody's a corn fan. I like corn myself in small doses. Our boys love that kind of music too. Tile floors, even in the, the uh, closets. Super. Five bedrooms, six bathrooms. It's over 7,000 square feet on 10 acres. All right, let's go shoot the stills. Oh no, we gotta go down to the basement. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Don't get crazy. There we go. 
Doing good with time. Doing tremendous with time. All right, so it goes like this, and then it goes like this. So I'm gonna go down this way. Hope I'm not making you dizzy, and if I am, well, sorry. I want one of those. That would be so fun. Throw that up there. You play for hours with the kids. All right. And just storage. Fantastic. It's heated and aired. Perfect. We've got another water heater down here. Remember we talked about the water heaters. The new ones are just better. Save you money. Now this. Ooh is I'm a workshop. I don't not know. Heat pump, forced air. Oh my god. Look at the size of this place. This bed this this basement. This is a basement, right? This basement is huge. Ken even Ken said it has a huge basement. Now here's the thing. Ken knows basements because he's got one and I've got one and I love it. If you ask him, he'll tell you don't ever buy a house without a basement. Look at this. All poured. You don't think this is a better system? Pour it. Come in here and whack it. Let me see here. Let me see. Oh, you can tell that's got to be 10 inches thick. I'm only kidding. Only kidding. I don't know whether it's 8 or 10 or what it is. But I guess it's 10 foot 8 inches tall, which is very possible. So this is grandma's thing or the teenage kid, right? It's got a drain in the floor. Yeah, so you just drive right around back on black on uh, concrete. Come on now, the place is awesome. That is some kind of a, a pump. Must be for water. Yes, because this goes. That's the 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 drain for the uh, air conditioning unit, and it's draining right in there. So this is kind of like a sump pump. And then this is the workshop. Yep. And then this is the basement. Another full bath. Another bedroom. Now, like, I don't know about real estate law and stuff like that. I don't. But there's, you know, grumblings you hear about, well, it can't be a bedroom if it doesn't have a closet, whatever. You got a window out. You can have 12 of these dressers in here. You know, back in the day, they didn't have closets. Last time I talked to George Washington, that's what he told me. You, you know you'd use this for a bedroom. <laughs> Certainly not scientific. I just counted the tiles. But this is about 15 by 17. I'm here to tell you, if you want to know what kind of an addition you should put on your house or what you should design your rooms to be, your bedrooms need to be 15 by 17. This is awesome. You put your wall of fame here, pictures of your family, trophies and whatnot. That's where we came down, right there. Huge. Now, I don't know if this square footage is calculated or, or what. I mean, this is a big house. You know, I thought this house was like more than, this looks more than 7,000 square feet. It just goes on and on and on. And then this is locked, but the stairs are right here. So you know that's good uh, storage under there as well. Let's go take a look out here. This reminds me of Doug Sewell's house. It really does uh, in a couple different ways. And I really like this. In and out. Uh, Al Oakland's house too. Another great guy. I sold both of their houses for them in this price range. This is in the eights. This is a lot of house, but if you've got a lot of family, you want a lot of house. Honey, put me in a pool right there. Come on now. What are we doing here? I guarantee you they mow what they mow for a reason. So the lines right down there just past those trees goes all the way back to that fence and that fence when I say that fence 
I'm talking that fence right there. And you want different fence put up? No problem. Guy right up the road is in the fence business. Magnificent. Oh, pull, come on. And then have a zip line from up there and zoom right on into the pool. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to get hurt with that, right? It sounds completely wholesome and, and uh, no, uh, no beer would be involved. None of that. Here, hold my beer and watch this type of thing, right? All right, I got to show you the garage. And then we're going to do some aerials. I'm going to go up in the bird and show you what's going on. Okay, so we're touring the basement, which is ginormous. Remember, those are 12 by 12 tiles. So you can count right there. And you can see how big all these rooms are. And you notice I just breezed over this gym because I really didn't know what it was. I looked it up on Google. And all those pieces of machinery in there are actually for exercise. These people turn every blessed light on for me. And I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. Because I can never find all the switches. Entertaining. Multi-generational, all one floor. There you go, three bay garage plus storage. And yes, you could fit three Suburbans in here. No problem. Now they have a, a grant right now, uh, or I'm sorry, federal tax credit. That's a 200 amp, plenty of room left over. There's for your your uh, pool pump and heater and that federal let me catch my breath that federal tax credit gives you 30 percent off of solar so i don't know what the electric bill is here we can find out but we can make it 20 dollars uh that's the 18 dollars and 20 cents that it'll be for the for the meter charge you only got one meter oh that's Oh, they got buried cable here. Okay. Well, anyway, $18.20 a month. That's what we did. We changed over. Look for my solar um, my solar video. It explains everything. But basically, it costs us sixty grand. We get 30% tax credit. So we save 18 there. 42 net. Saves us 6000 a year. It's like six and a half year pay payback. Uh, which is like a 16% um, return. Where are you going to get 16% these days? You're just not. So you could throw panels back there and there's south so that they would be going this way, right? And uh, you wouldn't even hardly see them. Anyway, a buddy of mine can do that for you. He's a great guy. He's a mechanical engineer and an electrical engineer. And he does those. And that's what he does. That's his business. I find nails and bananas. All right, we're going to go up.
Now, no, I'm not going <clears> to... <throat> excuse me, I don't know why I'm so hoarse. Cindy says I'm a donkey <laughs> or something like that. So I don't... But I'm hoarse as well. Then, let's see, what's the next step? If you like this video, like, subscribe, watch another video. Ciao. Starting to doubt we will find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world.